In this video, we'll see how to create a comment for an artifact. After creating a comment, I can notify some person and also I can see that comment in the dashboard. So let us see that. So I'll start with how to create a comment. I'll take the same artifact that is this one 2592 that is uh, HSBC bank app should have three types of accounts. So I'll just click on this artifact and if I want to add a comment to this artifact, I'll just click on this edit button. Okay, once I click on this edit button, I can just click on this option as create comment for artifact. So now a comment will be created for this artifact. Okay, that's a 2592 and I'll just click on this create comment for artifact. So I'll get this kind of floating dialog box. So what it says, what is the subject you want to send? Okay, what is that comment you want to put? So what I'll do is I'll put a subject here. Let's say spelling errors in artifact. Okay, I'm just trying to type anything here. So I'll just put a comment here, kindly correct. Yeah, so I've added here a subject and I've added here a comment. So what I can do is I can also send some person that is directed to, I can add some person's name in that and a email notification will go to that person. So similarly, I'll just click on this button here and it says, so if I click on this button, so it says which are the users you want to send an email or whom you want to notify. So I'll just click on this show all and I'll add some few users that is user 2 and I'll press control button user 3 and uh, also I'll notify myself and I'll just click on add and close. So now if you see Pavanel user 2 user 3, three users will get a notification on their dashboard plus they'll get an email notification and I'll say what is the priority of this comment high low or medium so I'll say yes hi so if you see observe what I've done is I've added a comment here create a comment subject line body text in the comment added some few people and I've given the priority high priority that's it and I'll click on ok so once I click on ok where do I see the comments which I've created so you see here spelling errors in artifact and if you see kindly correct the spelling mistakes so that is in the expanded form you see the last two options if i click on this minus it will reduce it if i click on plus it will expand and it will tell me the details so this way you can create a comment now how does a person come to know whether the comment is created so you remember the very first video we have seen how to see the project dashboard so if i just click on this project dashboard remember the comment spelling errors in artifact and click on done now I'll go to this project dashboard. There is a widget of comments. In that comments widget, you can see the details. Now let me check where it is. Yeah, here it is. At the bottom, if you see, if I expand here, you see that's a comment widget. So if you want, you can just drag and bring it on the top. I'll drag and bring it on the top like this. And if you observe here, that is Pavan L to this three users, Pavan L user two, user three, and the comment is given as spelling errors in the artifact. So this way you can see the artifacts or you can see the comments of the artifacts in the entire projects. So this detail, you can get it here. So here you'll save a lot of time instead of sending email notifications separately or instead of notifying the people by different methods. So if, he, if the person opens the dashboard, if he wants to navigate there, he'll just click on this place and you can click on OK. So you see it has jumped to this 2592 and directly on this place. Now you can just modify the comment and you can keep on adding that we'll see in the later videos. So I hope you have understood how to create a comment and see the comment created by the user. That's all for this video.